So this is my Senna 20S Bluetooth headset um, and I've had a uh, few issues with it. Um, just to show you as it is, here is the um, unit that it connects into with the cables that come out around here and go underneath into the microphone and headphones and this bit here is the actual Bluetooth headset bit which you can take off. Uh, you can see on my Shoei NXR helmet here it's quite a six out a fair bit but it's reasonably low profile um, and part of the problem I've had is I've had this now for just uh, just about a year um, and I've been very pleased with it, very pleased with the performance um, but it's uh, developed uh, a few issues in the last uh, week or so uh, after we had a little bit of snow I've done quite a bit of riding in uh, in heavy rain uh, with it on using it um, and interestingly, if you have a look on the uh, on the internet, you can see there's a number of issues around uh, the Senna 20S and whether or not it is waterproof. Now, I was uh, in touch with uh, Senna. Um, I contacted their customer services line and had a look in the manual. And, and actually, the 20S, um, whilst a really, really good uh, headset, is described by them and classed as water-resistant, not waterproof. And I think that's part of the problem. And what I've noticed with my problems in the last couple of weeks has been that uh, I think there's an issue between the connection between the actual unit and the base uh, bit itself. And it's been getting really, really crackly. Um, sometimes you can hear stuff through it. Sometimes it just goes like a really bad telephone line crackling. You can't hear anything through it. When I've uh, been making phone calls on it, I can often hear the person ringing me, but they can't hear me. Um, and I think it's down to the water resistancy of it. If I click off here, I think there's a couple of uh, design flaws. Around the front here, you can see there's a um, headphone socket, so you can use um, your own headphones in it. Covered with a rubber boot. You can see in there, there's the connecting bit in there. Um, actually, do you know what? I think having a connection even with a rubber boot on the front where you're going to get all the rain driving in um, is bad news. On the back here there's an auxiliary input uh, that's that's pretty much okay but that in itself is a is a pretty much a design flaw and again I know this connector here uh, and I can't remember whether that's for the microphone or for the headphones um, but again that why, why have that on the front Hopefully you can see here, that you can see where it's been in, but you then have to tuck everything up to keep it. It, it bends there, and you can see that's, that's not very strong. That's, uh, that's started to break away, and you can actually see the wire coming through there. So I think that's, that's one problem, um, and one design flaw. I think this, this bit here needs to be more rigid and stronger um, to, to deal with that. I think one of the other issues is you can see that the way this is designed, sort of this slot here that, that slides on, that once once that's clipped into place there, that you know, water will hit here and it will roll down underneath and it will slide down underneath here, get down onto here and onto these pins. These pins here, particularly right at the front, they started to get a little bit of uh, corrosion onto them. You can see more clearly on the underside here. You can see that pin in particular with the green there as Crow did, that one a little bit, and also at this end here. And I think that's part of the problem, that, uh, that these are um, starting to wear away. That, that top one all along here there, there's issues with it and that I think is what's causing the issues a combination of of the connections on here and also the the wire that I showed you earlier and actually for a headset that's designed to be used on the outside of a helmet um, particularly here in the UK with the weather that we have yeah it's not good enough just to be simply water resistant it's it's got to be uh, it's got to be waterproof as probably just poor design the other bad thing ab about this is you can see that that kind of sits on there so if you imagine that's on the water comes around here, you've got a button here. Why, who designed this? I really don't know. This is the USB charging socket. Now you would expect 
that the rubber boot would flip up this way, but no, 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 it's flipped up that way. So you can see there, it just it just flips down. And again, you know, it starts to get a little bit of corrosion inside on the USB connector. And this in itself, you, know, you, you click it back in, it's, it's difficult to get a, a good good fit. This, this tends to flap and pull out in the wind and again water comes down, round and it kind of goes in and, and drips in there. And that, That's just a simple thing that just by hinging that from the top rather from the bottom would completely solve that issue. Um, again just, just poor design on there. So yeah I had, uh, had these problems um, but I want to put a uh, a really positive note on the end of this. I bought this from Amazon.co.uk and when I noticed there was some issues with the headset I kind of tried, fiddled around a little bit uh, and then realized no that the, the, the unit was, was buggered and it needed, uh, yeah, needed fixing. Uh, so I had a look and I contacted Amazon. It was 364 days since I'd bought this from Amazon one day within the year being expired. So I contacted Amazon, rang them up, explained all the issues and I have to say their customer service was absolutely fantastic. Uh, they said that's fine, no problems, explained everything, they gave me a return, uh, no, a return sheet to uh, send the old unit back to them and they posted me out a brand new unit. No questions asked, nothing. I had the new headset within two days um, and I've got 30 days to return this one back to them, um, which they'll obviously uh, send off to Senna or whatever. So absolutely first-class customer service, you know, an item that was just within the year, um, and no quibble whatsoever, just a complete straight swap, take this one out and send me a brand new unit. So well done Amazon, it's the kind of uh, experience that uh, mean, makes shopping so much easier and gives you as the consumer so much more confidence. So that's the issues with my uh, Senna 20S uh, Bluetooth headset. Um, as I said, it's a fantastic headset. I really like it. It's really good. Um, but the water resistance problem, waterproof problem, that is an issue. I think what I am going to do with my new one is I'm going to get some, I've got some dielectric silicon grease which I'm going to put onto the uh, underside here and on here as well just to just to add a bit of protection and do you know what if I'm riding in um, heavy rain and I need to use this I think I've got to look at an alternate solution for covering this over um, actually do you know what a non-lubricated condom might might work quite well over there um, I don't know if cling film will, will work, that sometimes doesn't wrap to itself, but I think I've got to look into some sort of cover over it to make sure that uh, in really heavy rain you keep the, uh, the most of the, the rain off. So hopefully with that, and as I said with the dielectric silicon grease, that, that will give me many more months and years of uh, hassle-free uh, riding with my headset. So I hope that was useful. If you're in the market for a Senna 20S, brilliant. I would go for it. Just be aware of the uh, water problems with them. And again, if you search on the internet, you'll find a whole host of things of people talking to it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Speak to you soon.